Yes, this went better. A lot of pictures, a lot of old trophies and whatnot. This is like the museum, you know, <laughs> leave it at the parents' house, you don't have to worry about going missing. And this room does not ever look like this when he's home, by the way. <laughs> if I'm here, yeah, no. HP Hunter Pence gave me this one. This was my first career hit in Homer bat. I was like 0 for 15. <laughs> and he was like, would you just swing my bat, please? <laughs> I was like, yeah, all right, fine. <laughs> And then I had a homer, so. Yeah, you can see it says 100 pence on it. What do you say after you hit it? So you better keep swinging it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was awesome. I miss Hunter. Lexington was a great place to grow up. Just had that really good family vibe throughout the entire town. My family is my backbone. It's, uh, it's something that supports me through everything. and. I know that I wouldn't be here without mine. They're that important to me. When Chris was little, we had a place down in the Cape, and he'd be out in the backyard with my husband, his his grand, his papa. papa. Yep. And uh, Papa was throwing balls to him one day, and he came running in the house and said, "Come out in the yard and see this kid." <laughs> and I said, "What? Well, let's play ball." He said, "Come out in the yard and see this kid." <laughs> He was hitting them all the way up to the back and said, he's going to be a ball player. That's what happened when you were playing wiffle ball? Yeah, we built a wiffle ball field. Me and the neighbors over there were me and my brother's age each, and we go to Home Depot, buy as much, like, scrap wood, and, like, it looked like a junkyard by the time we were done building yes, it. But it was a mess, and then it went down in our basement. But we, you know, well, we got in trouble one time, too, because we took Mr. McGurk's lawnmower, and I put it down to, like, a putting green length, <laughs> and I mowed his lawn in a base path. Killed the grass. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you were with it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't have permission to use the lawnmower anymore. Playing back here in the backyard, you know, you picture yourself playing at Fenway Park. Baseball was essentially like a religion here. I remember when the Red Sox won it in 04, and me and my buddies dogpiling when we got to school the morning after the Red Sox won it. Hey guys. How are you? You look great. Thanks. I'm Susie Berry from the Board of Selectmen in Lexington, and we are thrilled to be here today with some of your closest friends and representatives of the community. On September 1st, when the town learned that you got called up by the Giants, we were ecstatic. Um, and then we learned more about you. We knew some about you, but then we learned more about you. It's an absolute honor to be you know, recognized in your hometown. Lexington was the birthplace of America. <laughs> like, they flew an American flag over where the Battle of Lexington Concord happened and presented. I mean, that was awesome. The thing of dirt was incredible. They got that from my elementary school, my middle school, my little league field, and from my high school field. We, the Board of Selectmen for the town of Lexington, Massachusetts, do hereby recognize Christopher James Shaw and name Wednesday, September 18th, 2019, as Chris Shaw Day in the town of Lexington. So that is for you. Wow, well, thank you. Appreciate it. Wow, thank you, I'm honored. Hearing from friends and family and people that we haven't spoken to in months or years reaching out to us and saying we're going to support the Giants, we're going to root for the Giants and Chris. That was incredible. Hi darling, how are you? Good to see you sweetheart. Once the game starts I'm usually pretty good at managing emotion like that. Pre-game, I'm sure I'll, I'll have my moment where I kind of, you know, separate myself from the team and just kind of try and soak it all in out there and just embrace it. Thought about a lot of different guys I'd played with, different coaches I'd had, the different guys that had played here before me. It was incredible, you know, results aside, it's probably the best day of my life. 